today we are going to make our own herbal uh, cleaning soap for traveling out in public. So let's get started. to wash my hands I use my own soap because you don't know what chemicals that are in that awful smelling soap out in public right and most of the chemicals that are in it are damaging to your skin and uh, not not to mention your respiratory system so I like making my own uh, soap to carry out in public and I can wash my hands um, out in public without using their soap that they provide. Uh, so what you're going to need is a traveling bottle, which this was part of a kit. Uh, it, it's just a cheap bottle that I got from the dollar store is part of a, a traveling kit. And it's the one with the flip top uh, that you can open and close fairly easily. So there's that. And then I'm using Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap and this uh, happens to be the unscented and then I'm going to use a couple of essential oils I pulled out a few um, that you can use you can use peppermint uh, I have cinnamon which I'm going to be using that uh, there's a lemongrass which I'm going to use that uh, there is you could use eucalyptus that would be a great one as a, a sanitizer type soap you can use just about any citrus i have orange right there uh here's lemon uh, you can use lavender lavender is a great um, oil to use to uh, as a type a sanitizer type oil and then there's clove you can use that a little bit goes a long way uh, even marjoram so these are just happen to be ones that i use um, or i have on hand to use in mine and i love the smell of lemongrass and cinnamon together so that's what i'm going to make today and for those that are interested, I am not an affiliate. I am not connected to this company whatsoever, but the the company that I choose to use for essential oils is called Aromatic International. And I did a, a long research project uh, a couple of years back I'll have to repost that in my blog, but um, when I do, I will put it in the description section uh, of my results. But Aromatic International was the one that I have found that is a reputable company at a good price. I can find the common oils uh, that need to be used. I don't have to be paying overpriced price for the MLMs. I don't have to worry about uh, whether they have passed or failed um, independent studies, which most MLMs have failed multiple times. So to get off my soapbox about essential oils, uh, which can and does create a lot of bickering back and forth, um, let's, let's not get into that uh, in this particular video. Uh, but anyway, uh, these are the ones that I choose to use uh, today. I'm going to use lemongrass and I'm going to use a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, and then I have a bottle, which normally I fill this bottle up about halfway because a little bit goes a long way with um, Dr. Bronner's to begin with. And do I really need to be carrying four ounces of Dr. Bronner's soap? Um, all over the place and take forever using it. Uh, so, and also if I lose the bottle, I'm only using, losing a, a little bit of it. So, um, about half of that, um, you know, two ounce bottle or two ounces in your bottle is more than enough, uh, to carry on a regular basis in your purse. So with two ounces, I am going to add um, up to 20 drops, which I normally only use about 15. Both of these have a decent smell to them, so uh, you don't have to use uh, too terribly much. So I am going to put about 10 drops of my uh, lemongrass. One, two, three, four, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just catch that at the last drop. And then cinnamon is very potent smell and it can outweigh the um, lemongrass fairly easily. So a little bit goes a long way with cinnamon. So uh, since I used uh, 10 drops of my lemon uh, or lemongrass, I'm going to use two drops of, uh, of my cinnamon. One, two. And that is all the essential oils that I use. And then I will just fill this up. About halfway. This is fun trying to do this and talk at the same time. It's kind of like walking and chew, uh, uh, chewing gum at the same time. Are you talented enough to do that? But there we go. Now, I have my own sanitizing uh, liquid soap for me to travel with uh, when I'm out in public. So I don't have to worry about that awful uh, smelling and um, uh, skin deteriorating soap that um, uh, commercial places tend to provide. So there we go. And we use this just like washing your hands. You put a drop or two on your hands. You rub your hands together. Uh, just make sure that you get in between your fingers, on top of your hands. Don't forget your thumb. And, uh, you know, get suds all over the place. And then rinse your hands and dry them. So that is my sanitizing uh, soap that I use when I'm out in public. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up um, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I am also I have also provided some videos somewhere around here uh, for you to continue on your uh, learning of using herbs in your life. And I, that is it for today and I will see you again soon. Until then, get healthy, be happy, and herbal on! See ya.